Part three. Part three. Somebody, uh, you know, keeps interrupting Riddle Reaper. So this will be three parts, too, on Christmas. So go to all three parts and watch them because, you know, it, it, it seems to be that some of these people that say that they, that they don't celebrate Christmas, they sure call you on Christmas. <laughs> and they expect gifts on Christmas, too. The Reaper keep it 1,000, so. <laughs> well, these, some of these niggas be faking and shaking. <laughs> they need to just, you know, uh, just be who you really want to be. You know, that's what the Reaper do. I be who I am. I'm too old to fake the funk. But some of them will say they don't celebrate Christmas, but they'll call you on Christmas to see what you're doing. <laughs> well, to say Merry Christmas. <laughs> so Flo Rider couldn't afford to get his motorcycle out of the shop. And, you know, um, he resulted in, you know, uh, you know, he couldn't pay the bill and they, they sold his bike, right? Yeah. Well, rap game is 90% show and 10% business, and that's what just goes to show you that it's 90% show and 10% business, because Flo Rida could not afford to get his motorcycle out of the shop, and the Reaper always say when, you know, brothers get speeding tickets or whatever, or people in general, you know, this is what, you know, the towing company would do. They make money, they say, they'll charge you up a towing bill, you know, and they'll sell your car if you can't come get it. That's the game. That's the pimp game. You know, they don't just put it in collections, you know, or whatever, or try to sue you. They'll they sell your merchandise. Because you know what? You know what the law is? 90% of it is possession. And they know how to get through the loopholes to get the title to your car. You know, uh, the Reaper keep it 1,000. That's why you, you always say that. You know, when you go out and get something on credit, it ain't yours till you pay for it. So I don't understand why, you know, people say I own this house or I own this car. You know, it ain't yours, you know, if you ain't got it paid for. The Reaper keep it 1000 you know, and they can pull the rug out from up under you. You know, like I told you, most people is in an illusion, you know, for inclusion because, you know, most people will leave a bill instead of a will. And, you know, if you got a regular job, you know, you need to shut up because you're dependent instead of independent. So they got loopholes to take everything and scoot it out from up under you. And, you know, and I do believe, you know, you shouldn't value nothing, you know, uh, as you shouldn't value nothing but your soul. I believe the Bible on, no, on some things, you know, you shouldn't value nothing. You know, because it can be taken from you in a New York minute, as we see. The Reaper keep it 1,000, you know, and, you know, it's morality over anything, you know. So that's what the Reaper say. It's morality. Being a good, solid, strong, you know, person, you know, that's more important than teaching your kids values than te teaching your kids that they value is in a dollar, you know. And most people, you know, they place their value in worth. You know, if you're worth a lot of money, you know, uh, you uh, you a great guy. You know, you made it. You know, yeah, hey, yeah, hey. But if Mike Tyson came around, most people would want his autograph. He made it because he made a lot of money or whatever. You know, just like if or, or they want his autograph, just like Donald Trump or anybody. Anybody that's famous or they made it or if they're a business person or they got a lot of money. You know, you got these fanboys out here and girls like Kevin Garnett's. I mean, like like Kevin Durant. Say, see a lot of LeBron James got a lot of fat boys so, <laughs> in the media. <laughs> and his, his environment is toxic. <laughs> KD throwing out the venom, you know. <laughs> but what KD said was true. But you know what? I, uh, uh, what KD was saying was no marquee player want to play with him because he takes away from what they do well. You know, if you're a marquee player and he going to take away from what you do well instead of enhance it. And, you know, look at Kevin Love. He took away from what Kevin Love did well, Isaiah Thomas and a, and a host of other players. You know, I mean, Chris Bosh, you know. I mean, he took he takes away from what you do well because you got to play in his system. So uh, and and he'll take away from what Anthony Davis do well. You know, if Anthony Davis go play for him, because, you know, most people, most of the players that's marquee, that's really up in the game, like Jimmy Butler, you know, or Kevin Durant, you know, uh, players like that, you know, or uh, Kawhi Leonard, 
you know, they don't want to play with LeBron James or Paul George, you know, because he going to take away from what they do well. You, you know, see, the reason that Paul George stayed in OKC, because he don't take away from what you do well, because Kevin Durant was MVP in Oklahoma City. And look, Paul George is scoring 40 and 50 points. <clears throat> LeBron uh, with Russell Westbrook. If he was with LeBron James, he wouldn't be doing that. He wanted to come to L.A. because he's from L.A., but he would have took away from what he do just to make a long story short. So but what else you got? Okay, we'll go to Matt Barnes. Matt Barnes. He with that crazy broad. I don't know why Derek Fisher. Now, if Derek Fisher, you know, it say his net worth is worth $40 million. Now, go figure. You know, this is just this ignorant shit that, you know, some niggas do. Why would he want his teammates, woman, Matt Barnes, woman, you know, and she got two kids by Matt Barnes and been ran through by Matt Barnes and everybody else, right? And I got $40 million. Wouldn't you want a woman that didn't nobody else know? She ain't the finest woman out there. Why would you want his? This is the dysfunctionality of some niggas. You know what I'm saying? The Reaper keep it 1,000. And she don't love Derek Fisher because she's still always tripping on Matt Barnes. Every time you turn around, she tripping on Matt Barnes. You know, so, you know, I don't care how much money, you know, Derek Fisher got. He don't get that pussy wet. <laughs> you can have a house, a car, whatever, or whatever you do it. If you don't get that pussy wet, you know, she's still going to be out there running after somebody else. The Reaper keep it 1,000. He don't get that pussy wet. Because she's still tripping on Matt Bonds, and he should know better. Just like Russell Wilson, he can have all the money in the world, and, and Sierra is still tripping off a of future. Every time you turn around, she got Future's name in her mouth. And every time you turn around, this uh, Gloria Govan, you know, uh, got a, you know, Matt Barnes's name in her mouth. And she going back and forth with her baby's daddy because she want him to hit that box. And Matt Barnes done moved on. You know, he got another woman and living with him and he happy. And he say he wish her and Derek nothing but the best. The reason he whooped his ass because he was in his house driving his car. That show you how dysfunctional Derek Fisher is. He got $40 million, but he in Matt Barnes' house and driving Matt Barnes' car because he going along with what this broad is saying. So Derek Fisher, you needed your ass whooped. He should have broke your face. You know, you're in this man's house driving his car and you got $40 million, right? Right? Because of what she telling you about this man and being around his kids and you used to be his ex teammate. What kind of nigga is you? You know, I mean, that's just stupidity. No wonder you coach the women's team because you's a beta man. The Reaper keep it 1000. Believe in what a broad say all the time and then and around there and got your ass whooped, you know, and uh, he going to pay the price for it. You know, uh, what did what did what did uh, what what did Gloria Govan do now? Uh, he went to the jail for violating restraining orders. He mm. said he, he violated 59 times. He says she broke the rules of uh, the court order, texting the kids, setting up unauthorized FaceTime calls, and keeping tabs on the kids with tracking software. Uh, her lawyer said the allegations do not constitute violations and he intends to file a motion to dismiss. Well, you know what? This is what I'm saying is she's doing all that. Wait a minute. Her and Mark, Matt Barnes got like part time custody, right? So what's what's happening is she had a kids for a certain period of time and he do. Now, he got the same rules as her. He don't be violating them. You know what I'm saying? So why is she violating them? And why is she? And I'm sure he telling her, look, Gloria, you breaking a restraining order. You can't be doing this and doing that, you know, with the kids or whatever, because you breaking a restraining order or whatever. And she don't care, you know, just like most black women, you know, I mean, those is my kids more than yours is. And, you know, and I'm going to do what I want to do and you ain't going to stop it. And it's just because she tripping because this nigga done moved on because if she happy with her new nigga, which is Derek Fisher, right? You know, I mean, she wouldn't even be tripping like that. OK, they with they daddy for a week or two or whatever that give us some free time to kick it and do this. And then they'll be back with us. You know, so why is she tripping so hard? She's tripping off of because this dude got a new broad. 
and he be vacationing with the kids with his new broad and they be seeing him around this new broad and she still got feelings for him because you know she couldn't control him he was sick of her bullshit and he moved on and now you know it's everything up under the sun it's fights at the school is she running him down in the car and and it's always her you know, just like Sierra, it's always her, you know, doing something that's out of control, you know, that's in the news against this man. Why? This man is not tripping. He's not a uh, uh, abuser of his kids. He's not uh, doing anything. He's just uh, moved on with another woman. And this is why, you know, Gloria Govan is tripping. You know, I mean, this is why the trips go down. I've seen it many times before. You know, and she probably is teaching the kids hate against him, you know, and that's the way it goes down. You know, I mean, you know, the man gets, you know, when he moves on and he's still doing well and, you know, he's moved on with a new woman or whatever. And she dated his teammate to try to get vindictive back with him because she should if, if she wasn't trying to be vindictive, she would have been like, no, I ain't going to date you. You know, you was friends with Matt and y'all was teammates and you used to come over to the house or whatever. She went on and fucked him and married him and did all that kind of stuff because she had a beta man, you know, a sucker nigga and Derek Fisher, you know. And so and then she wanted money because Derek Fisher got more paper than Matt Barnes do. But he don't get that pussy hot. So that's why she's still tripping on Matt Barnes and Matt Barnes done moved on. You know, the Reaper keep it 1,000. And so Derek Fisher going to be the fall guy in all of this. And he should be. I hope he fall hard. You know, but, you know, he probably got a prenuptial agreement too. And evidently she don't want no kids by Derek Fisher or whatever. See, she just using him for the paper. And because he a sucker nigga to sit up her there and listen to her, you know, talk about Matt Barnes. And then he got money, so she trying to show that she's still living the same lifestyle. You know, I've seen this game before, and it never works out. And guess who going to be the fall guy, the fall woman in all of this? Gloria Govan. Just like she should have did her like Agent Zero did her sister. Uh, he never did marry her, Laura Govan. And then when she tried to get out of line and get all rowdy, because these Govan chicks do, he sued her and everything, and he ain't even got to pay child support. He got custody of his kids. He just played her all the way to the left. She tried to slander him and say he had herpes and gave her diseases. Hey, he ain't got no diseases, and he sued her, and he sued her for child support and all this kind of stuff. So, you know, and then Gilbert Abridas made a video, and he made a video with 50 cent playing in the back talk uh, with all his money with his kids he said i'm laughing straight to the bank with ha 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 laughing straight to the bank with it he said now you gonna have to sell that pussy now that's what he told her <laughs> you know give her the read this ain't got no sense he said she gonna have to say get out there and sell that pussy now <laughs> <laughs> Matt Barr shouldn't have never married her either. You know, he should have did her like Gilbert Arenas, you know, did her sister that slept with Shaq on him and everybody in the NBA. You know, but Z Agent Zero, Gilbert Arenas never did marry her. And she was getting all out of line with her lifestyle and everything. And he had PIs and everything watching her. And then she tried to slander him and do all kind of stuff when he had went on with his life. And Gilbert sued her and got custody of the kids and had all his money with the safe deposit boxes. You know, in the video, all you do is get to go to YouTube. And he said, and he got 50 cent plan. I'm laughing straight to the bank with this. Ha, 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 ha. He said, yeah, she, she going to have to get out there and sell that pussy now. <laughs> so, you know, when you don't get caught up like that with these skeezers. You know, you don't have to pay the price. What else you got? Okay, we'll go to ex Philadelphia Eagles receiver. His name is uh, Doriel Green Beckham. I don't know that um, nigga, but you know, yeah, what, what did he do now? Cops capture him trying to climb out a window during a raid. Springfield special response team served a search warrant on home and found a pound of weed in his backpack and several vials of THC oil. They found seven more pounds of weed in the home that another man was charged for. He was taken in custody, booked and posed for a mugshot. Uh, he had a ton of potential, but 
off-field issues torpedoed his career. I guess so, off-field issues torpedoed his career because he was trying to run from the police. So evidently, you know, uh, he had got caught up before, you know, probably with NFL drug testers and stuff like that because that's why he was trying to run, you know, with a pound of weed in his backpack and some THC oils. Uh, what was this nigga doing? Oil of himself down? <laughs> Because <laughs> I ain't never heard of no THC oils for weed. <laughs> you know, was he growing it? I don't know. You know, somebody tell me. You know, I ain't hit with, you know, weed or anything like that. Because the weeper don't do nothing like that. But, you know, I mean, why was he having THC oils? Was the nigga oiling himself down and stuff? You know, I don't know. Maybe he had Big Bubba. Oh, nigga, come on in here. Let me oil your ass down with some weed. Shit, get you high. <laughs> THC oils. I don't even know what that's for. <laughs> that sounds spooky. <laughs> I guess, uh, you know, but it sounds like this dude had a bunch of, uh, he failed NFL drug tests, had a bunch of off-field issues, and he was trying to run when the police raided the house with a pound of weed and some THC oils in his backpack. So, you know, I don't think he will be getting back in the NFL, you know, uh, real soon because, yeah, he's got all field issues. What else you got? Okay, we'll go to Washington Redskins safety, Monte Nicholson. Mm -hmm. He was uh, caught on video pummeling a man on a Virginia street in the middle of the night at 2 a.m. A man tried to break up the fight. He threw the guy to the ground and kept beating him until he threw a knockout blow. He was booked for a battery and drunk in public. He has a $2,500 bill. Yeah, yeah, I saw this. And then they immediately uh, suspended the brother, you know. So when you go to it, and, and then he was fighting with a brother. They, they all knew each other, you know. And they tried to pull him off of the brother. I, you know, it was, it was kind of like the Kareem Hunt incident where they tried to calm him down. You know, some other people that was with him so he wouldn't get in trouble. But, you know, he was drunk or whatever. And I know he had just saw the Kareem Hunt incident. You know, I mean, it's all over YouTube and these youngsters, they social media savvy. They can't go without it. It's like a drug. You know, they look down at their phone or checking their social media every two seconds, you know. So he done saw the Kareem Hunt incident and he done saw the Ray Rice incident. Right. So he done saw these kind of incidents. Right. But this brother, you know, still choose to get drunk, go out there. And the dude was trying to get away from him and he body slamming the dude. They hold him back. He throwing people down and then he throws knockout punches on the dude and keep beating him up and stuff like that, you know, knowing, knowing that this is going to cost him money, knowing that somebody got a video phone out, knowing this. Now, you going to tell me that ain't some ignorant shit. The Reaper keep it 1000. Dude was trying to get away from him because he the pro football player and he was the aggressor. So, you know, what was they? What, what, what do you think they was fighting over? I believe they was fighting over a woman. That was over a woman again. The Reaper keep it 1,000. Somebody that, you know, he probably thought that was his friend was sticking the pipe to somebody that he knew. Because it couldn't have been over money. It couldn't have been over just words. You know, he was too upset. And he knew this dude. So... <laughs> <laughs> and that's why the Reaper say, why would you fight over one woman when you got your shit together? You know, you're a pro football player. Why would you fight over one woman? It makes no sense to me. And they got goofy ass Ray Rice, you know, on uh, what's that broad, that Oprah Winfrey, that Gail, whatever her name is, Oprah Winfrey's lover. <laughs> what's that name? But anyway, they had Ray Rice on there. And you know she a man basher. You know that Gail, she got her own show from the spinoff because she was fucking Oprah. You know, allegedly. <laughs> That's what Stedman said. <laughs> 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 
But Stebner didn't care because he had his nigga up in the big house. The Reaper came in 1,000. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. It's out there. You know, the Reaper just report, report was out there, allegedly. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, she had Ray Rice on there. And guess what Ray Rice sitting up there with his goofy ass, right? I ain't going to even lie. You know, uh, saying that he said some shit that, uh, you know, y'all, this is the goofy shit that Ray Rice said. He said he should never play in the NFL again for what he did to his woman. He said it was a one time incident, you know, with him and her. And she agreed that it was a one time incident. Now, I don't believe that domestic violence is a one time incident. The Reaper keep it 1000. I believe it's a history of it. You know, that has to happen. It probably started off with a smack and it escalated and escalated. And his woman said that it's just something that they did that she thought was natural until, you know, this, and she just busted him up. She said it's something that, you know, they did, and she just thought it was natural, you know, until, you know, it got caught on film. 